Hello everyone, this is Kissing Blue and welcome to another video. I hope the sound is a bit better this time. I'm recording with the microphone in my headphones. And yeah, let's talk about what's happening on your screen. So as you can see, I'm drawing a mermaid. And this is nothing new, but I wanted to make a little chubby mermaid is representing chubby girls it's important chubby girl speaking <laughs> so I thought that it would be nice to make a chubby mermaid like it said is nothing new uh, it's been done before I'm not like reinventing the wheel I just wanted to do something fun and light-hearted that would put me in a good mood and that's why I did it basically as you can see, uh, she's wearing a little necklace, but I think I didn't do that in the end because I didn't. I thought it was like too many things. And lately, I've been feeling like I like my drawings to be very simple, not too charged with detail. Even though sometimes I do <laughs> look at other people's art, and then I'm like, oh, why can't my art be so detailed like theirs? Excuse me, there was a burp. But yeah, uh, then I started inking and I'm quite happy of how the inking came out. And what I was saying before actually brings me to what I want to discuss in this video, which is comparing yourself to other artists and finding your own style. Like I said in my previous video, I struggle a lot and I still struggle to find my own style. Because I feel like every time I draw, it's because I've been inspired by another artist and every time I draw, it looks like a different style and then my art is not recognizable and blah blah blah. And I think this is something that a lot of artists struggle with because we all kind of want to, you know, have a, a like distinct style and that's it. And I'm going to tell you a secret <laughs> and the best kept secret in the art industry and world and community is that you already have an art style you do <laughs> um believe it or not the your art is already full of quirks and full of things that you can't even notice because you're close to the, your to your own style and you see it every day so you're not even gonna notice if you do a certain thing always the same way and trust me other people will notice even if you don't so don't worry your style is there just keep on doing what you love it's okay to take inspirations from here and there your style will shine through no matter what like you will be able to see what you do and that's something that has taken me a long while to accept and once you do it's gonna be fine and then uh yeah i was saying about comparing yourself to other artists um it's always a good idea to find inspiration uh, outside of the realms of your own kind of reality, like of your own practice in a way. But it's also a good idea to compare yourself to yourself because you can take inspiration here and there, take elements you like from other artists, but the only real way to see improvement is by comparing yourself to yourself by seeing how you were like where you were a year ago and where you are now and seeing if you've gotten any better and that's one of my biggest advice advices my biggest advice <laughs> for uh like seeing if you're improving yeah and now i'm doing the colors in this little mermaid she's so cute and pastel goth and uh, that's another thing I actually personally struggle with. It's uh, deciding if I want my art to be creepy or cute. Because I love creepy things. I don't know about you, but I love creepy things. I'm a Tim Burton kid. I was an emo, let me tell you. <laughs> I was an emo child and I loved all the things creepy. But at the same time, I love cute things and obviously you can always combine them and do the whole creepy cute style you know super cute character with lots of blood or whatever but sometimes i just want to go like the other way i just want to do either all cute or all creepy 
and lately I'm in a cute kind of streak, I feel like. Um, and like lots of pastel colors and lots of soft shading, not very harsh shading. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm in that kind of mood. And that's another thing I want to touch on, is like, it's okay to change your art style a lot. Like, it's okay to try new things, to change all the time. It's not necessarily, like, it's necessary to be always super consistent. It doesn't matter. People who like your art are gonna like your art, no matter what. If you don't like my art, that's fine. If you don't like my evolution, that's fine, because I'm doing this for me. Look, obviously having people who like what you do, it's always a plus, but I do this for myself more than for anybody else. So if you want to come together my journey, see what things are going to take me, then yeah, for sure, come along. If you don't like it, that's fine too. I'm sure you'll find other artists that you like more or that, you know, they don't, they have already found their own style or, or their journey is more advanced than mine and they don't need to change things so often. And maybe they'll be more your cup of tea, and you know what? That's fine. Like, I don't mind. Um, I do like constructive criticism. Like, if you think there's something I can be better at, and you, you know, you do it in a, you say it in a nice way. Like, look, I do. I think maybe that your shading uh, is not very well done, and I think that your colors are maybe too soft and not vibrant enough or they don't pop at all and they actually looks bland i don't know um maybe my anatomy is off my those hands are pretty off i think in that bear maid she's cute but those hands could have used some work so yeah um constructive criticism i am here for it that's me clapping my hands don't freak out <laughs> um yeah that's all i have to say in this subject i actually really like the way this little mermaid came out she's very cute I wish I had those clothes and that hair and that tail because girl let me tell you I want to be a mermaid I'm sorry if I speak a bit weird like that I've been watching lots of RuPaul's Drag Race like while I draw and now it sounds weird I don't know what was that way of drawing that star by the way like that was weird why did I do that I don't even know like <laughs> I am so confused even like I don't know art it's art it comes out whatever so yeah, that's the final result. Uh, thank you for listening to my rambling as usual. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Share it with your grandma and your aunt because they're going to like my cute ass art. And save the bees. Bye bye.